in 2018, we had an idea. We were going to visit some of the best ice cream shops in Connecticut and document the adventure. After traveling around, we decided to move our ice cream adventure to a new location for season two and headed south to Florida to find some new places for us to get the scoop. All right, welcome back to another episode of Get the Scoop. Today we are going to Mayday Ice Cream in um, Jacksonville. They have a lot of other locations, but we are going to the San Marco one in Jacksonville, Florida. As you can see, it's just me today. Um, Alexa is away and Michelle still lives in Connecticut, which is stupid. Um, and didn't want to come see me in Florida, also stupid. You know, what are you gonna do? But you got me and honestly, that's all we need. You and me, that's all we need. And ice cream, you, me and ice cream. I am sweating in this car a little bit. Let's go get some ice cream. I'm super excited. Mayday ice cream. Let's get it. This is, this is a hot mess right now. This is literally delicious. Like, look at this. Waffle cone cookie. We've got like cinnamon in it. This place is really cool. This is why I don't get a cone normally, but I'm by myself and I have to get the shot. So this is the parent trap. It's literally dripping everywhere. Which for me, I just felt like was the best option. Parent trap, summer camp, obviously one. Two, it's peanut butter and Oreos and like, what else do I ever want? That right there is a chunk of Oreo. Like a perfect chunk of Oreo. And it's so good. I think I'm gonna eat this and um, then try to talk because I'm, I'm losing ice cream as we speak. That was equally delicious and messy, but I don't normally get a, a waffle cone, but it was 100% worth it. Every single ice cream that they give it comes with their homemade sprinkles and also a waffle cookie, which is, was delicious because it had like cinnamon and sugar on it. Mayday is really cool. This is their second location they ever built, um, and it's in San Marco in Jacksonville, and their first original location is in St. Augustine, so that's pretty cool. It's in downtown St. Augustine. They opened like three years ago, and now they went from having one shop three years ago to having like six shops now. I got the Parent Trap, which is Oreo and peanut butter um, and vanilla ice cream. There was huge chunks of Oreo in it. I also tried coffee and donuts, which was really good, and they make that from the Kookaburra Coffee, which is also one of my favorite coffee shops. It has like chunks of glazed donut in it. And then I also tried the Aviator, which is like chocolate and Biscoff cookies, which I love, and hazelnut. I was trying to think of if anyone was here with me, what would they get? Um, if Alexa was here with me, I think she probably would have gotten the coffee and donuts just because it's once she heard that it was like Kookaburra coffee. But also, salted caramel sounded really good. I think from the classics it would have been um, the blueberry toast crunch. Oh. Or, well obviously key lime pie. You know I like key lime pie. Yep. That's always. Caramel with like pink Himalayan sea salt. That also sounds good. The two on the seasonal list that I was going to pick. I don't know if you saw these. There's blackberry earl grey. Which is like Earl Grey, which is like lavender yep. and like bergamot and orange. It has blackberries in it. And then there's an O Canada one. That's maple ice cream with maple cookies. Oh, you do like that. that. The seasonal wasn't there when I was there, mm -hmm. but um, 
I guessed that you would have gotten coffee and donuts. I did, yeah. Because the coffee one is made with kookaburra coffee oh is it yeah so i feel like if you if you knew that then like then you would get that and i also guessed the salted caramel one yes that one too delicious ice cream mayday so nice vicky the store manager here was so nice to me and if you're ever in the area check out mayday ice cream because it's delicious